Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano and I'm a chef on a mission. Today's mission is 50 mistakes, 50 mistakes that restaurant owners make. You can find all uh, of my insightful tips on 50mistakes.com, F-I-F-T-Y mistakes.com or 50mistakes.com. It's a great website I've set up that is sort of a cyber coach to restaurants and to really all different types of businesses. So the debate here is location versus reputation. So chefs are very stubborn and they're like, I can open a restaurant anywhere. As long as I have a good food, which is a good reputation, I can survive. The business person says, well, you need a great location. Doesn't your reputation isn't is secondary. At that point, you need a great location. So you have a lot of foot traffic, okay? So the debate is reputation versus location. And they're both very legitimate questions. So when the question is posed to me, I'm saying, well, honestly, those aren't the two most important things. If you t if I had to pick one or the other, I would pick zero, I wouldn't pick those. I would pick marketing. I would pick how you market your restaurant. You have to first be a marketer of your restaurant. Then you have to have a great reputation because you can't market um, crap, okay? People will soon find out how bad your food is, how bad your service is. You know, as long as you're a good marketer, location is less of a factor. Now, point proven, I've been open for 10 years. I'm in a very small, economically depressed area in upstate New York, and I'm selling $18 burgers. I'm selling high-end stuff. I'm selling things that don't fit, typically fit in with the area that um, where I'm at. People say it's like walking into a New York City bistro, New York City restaurant here in the middle of the Catskills. So how did I do it? Well, it was the marketing. I became a marketing maniac. I learned how to do direct marketing. I learned how to do social media. I learned how to do SEO, search engine optimization. I learned how to do all my own websites. I learned how to let people know what I'm doing. I learned how to do different themes um, as far as wine dinners, beer dinners, all kinds of fun different thing, themes at my restaurant. So I was able to be able to get a captive audience. I was able to market to them and I was able to then get more people into there. And then I, so if you go onto my 50mistakes.com, there's a lot of information there on how to market your restaurant. So in the order of importance, in my order of importance, it is marketing, reputation, and then location. That's the most important, that's my order of importance on the three. And to those stubborn chefs out there that don't think you don't need to advertise, you've got to let people know what you're doing. There's only so many people that are gonna find out about your reputation if you're not out there marketing promoting your brand, pushing your product. Um, you know, you've had to be the face of the restaurant. You've got to be out there. You've got to be doing it. You've got to be going. So again, learn how to market your restaurant, but you can't market crap. So you have to have a good reputation to market. People are only going to come in one time. You can be the best marketer in the world. And if you're going to get them in once, they're not going to come back in a second time if you're not going to deliver the product. And your location to me is third because with the other two, you can get them to drive to your location. Point and proven is my restaurant. People drive every single night, a half an hour. They pass other towns and other cities with tons of restaurants that they could go to, but they choose to come to my restaurant. So location is really third. So check out um, uh, check out 50mistakes.com. Let me know what you think on this video. Please hit like, subscribe, uh, leave some comments, and uh, definitely share this video. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. Thank you for watching.